What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Assassination Classroom. Today we are doing Season 1, Episodes 7 and 8. The first one is called School Trip Time. Very excited about the reinvigoration to Koro Sensei's determination for getting our class to where it needs to be, despite the efforts of Principal Asano. It was like a helicopter outside. Sorry if you guys can hear that, but despite the efforts of him to make sure Class E uh stays as low as possible we are going to be hopefully amazing fantastic assassins and students the helicopter is so loud but um hopefully you guys are excited if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts in the comments down below don't forget to check out that patreon for early access and full uncut length um to up to four episodes ahead uh or one week let's hop right on into this episode though assassination classroom season one episode seven and eight the first one is called school trip time let's do it Yeah, what groups are we talking about? Ah, uh, yep. Okay, class trip. <laughs> As you're already themed, right? This should be fun. Going on a trip with not only the this eccentric class, but also an eccentric teacher. Heck yeah. All right, episode seven, school trip time. Slash first period. Two night school trip to Kyoto. I mean, thankfully, the bullets are non lethal to anyone but Koro, but that's still scary as hell. <laughs> I like it. They have to plan their itinerary around assassinations. That's a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Okuda, so we're starting to, we're starting to get a squad of people we know. Kanzaki. So we got Sunigo, Sugino, Mr. Baseball Man. I mean, heck yeah, sounds good to me. So we got Sugino, Okuda, Chemistry Girl, uh, Karma, Nagisa. One for each of you. <laughs> the only one of the squad so far that don't have their names is the green haired girl but i like her she's cool so far i can't wait till i go to japan one day i'm hoping 2023 mm, of course that's fucked up this is the one benefit about being in our miss arena mm -mm -mm. She does look mighty fine. What are they playing? The game of life? Getting their cameras ready for some vlogging, all kinds of... I love the little squads. That droopy nose of yours. Okay. That is a great talent. Sugaya. True. Now, who might this be? Oh, God. And now uh, we're in Tokyo Avengers. Completely different show. And, of course, they, they sleight of hand swiped that out of their pockets. This is literally like a gang in Tokyo Avengers. Yeah, and it looks beautiful. Look at the city. Look at the little river. Get some green tea. Warbamochi dumplings. Come on. I know. Look at that. That's what I'm... I can't wait to come here. Talk about crazy history. Nobunaga Oda. Now, I've heard the name Nobunaga in probably 15 different anime. I love how the map is like marked with areas of assassination. The Mecca. That's true. In history, in history that's crazy. <laughs> that's funny. True. Same with Koro. You're living in live history making. 
feel like me, honestly, with like uh, COVID and all that. I feel like I'm living through history during certain things, you know? We need Mikey Kuhn, Mikey and Draken, Takamichi. <laughs> I wonder uh, if Nagisa is going to be able to intimidate Bloodlust his way out of this. Karma is here as well. Forgot about that. I didn't forget about that, but I'm just now taking it into account. Karma might do some karma things. Look at his face. Okay, obstruct his view. Get him out of here. Oh, uh, you gotta be worried about the girls. I know, right? And you can't turn your back on him. Oh my god, this is literally like some Tokyo Revenger shit. You're not wrong. This is a mystery creature. These are mystery creatures of a unknown assault, but why? I've never felt the urge to beat on smaller people. And I thought they'd get out of it, but no, they literally got jumped and... <laughs> Look at that vein in his forehead. It's rare to get over on karma like this. Do they have Kanzaki? And green-haired girl that don't have her name yet? I'm so... She looks so different, but what? So every student has a little story to them. I'm curious. This guy, with especially with the oh yeah, he needs his ass whooped. Kind of with karma. You want to handle their execution? I will. Look away. Hey, it's Koro. He thought of everything. <laughs> Everyone has a phase, you know. I mean, most people have a phase. Mm. Yeah, you feel like you'd fit in, have a whole different persona. I bet she was freeing for her. I get it. Especially with an identity issue, especially with very strict parents, you know, that's rough. They make this guy super creepy and mm, I cannot wait for for the revenge. Yes, they have. 1243. <laughs> what to do when a group member has been abducted. Koro Sensei for the win. That's actually a good clue. Okay, and then it directs to a different page. That's uh, awesome. True. Needs to be somewhere they know and close. Secluded spot near bar nearby. Of potential hideout areas, Koro's Mach 20 completely bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah, this man. I, I this man is. I know, right? This man is amazing. I can't even call him a man. <sighs> yeah, nothing to Koro. Okay, Jack Daniels bottle for the stabbing. They could have broke their necks. <laughs> Very true. Look at Koro go ham. Way to stand up for your kids while whooping ass. Damn. Yeah, they're not elitist at all. It's the first time someone of an like an older and adult, someone has genuinely showed that she's they've cared about Kanzaki, you know. Showed interest and want the best for them. The guidebooks, too. I'm surprised that didn't kill them. Yeah, 
Right? She had a little bit of a realization during that. Look at her. So this little episode was, uh... <laughs> Look at Karma. This episode was just a fun class episode and had a many a character moments, but it was focused a little bit on Kanzaki. I'm loving the little... The little specific episodes, you know. Well, that was a good one. They really enjoyed. All right, on to episode eight, school trip part two. First, you take the earth and you put a bean in Tokyo and another bean in China. Okay. He knows geographically how this would work out. Shouts out to him. Koro sensei! I was kind of fire. Fuck with that. <laughs> Alright, episode 8, school trip time. Second period. Or is this one of the sharpshooters? Is this, yep. A red eye. I'm an assassin, a sniper. That would be a beautiful sightseeing little train trip right there. The Hozu River Bridge. Brief stop. Yeah, normally I'd agree with you. Now that you recheck the scope and he caught it with his dumpling. Yep, <laughs> Yatsuhashi. The way he, yeah, he's... The anti spins to stop the momentum, it's crazy. I like his voice actor, I can't lie. Okay, swaggy Mr. Bushido. This little theater play. Very well choreographed, I like it. I mean, anytime I see something like this, it reminds me of like classic Star Wars, you know? I still need to watch Visions because they have like Bushido style, like Katana style. He is physically distracted by the show right now. Oh, You're like oh, I blink. I literally thought for a sec. Oh, he's out there fighting. <laughs> Blood cherry blossoms are the only flower that bloom for me. <laughs> he actually looks sick as fuck. He would be a dope swordsman. We need him in One Piece. We need him teaching Zoro. So this is what was going on during their uh, kidnapping ordeal, and so that's when Korra went off to go save them. So they were that's why they were he was working with the other groups. This guy had a whole life realization trying to kill the unkillable in the eight years I've been an assassin. See? So this guy, he's going through it right now. Identity crisis. Red Eye. I kind of like how he got his name. He's not going to do anything. Koro's a nice guy. He knows this guy was just hired. Ooh, is that star fruit? Star anise? What is that? <laughs> They're having hot pot. Look at them. They probably did do a lot of, uh... Yeah, I mean, they did know their history. They were spitting facts and a whole bunch of stuff earlier. You know what? They probably learned more during the school trip. Yeah, they probably learned more doing this, trying to go for assassinations than they ever would have any other trip. They're going to make them a little bull. Hell yeah, he is. This song I hear right now always reminds me of like a Kingdom Hearts 2 song. Like Traverse Town, you know. He's having a whole life, midlife identity crisis. <laughs> All kinds of colors, not just the red. Hell yeah, buddy. You live your life. <laughs> Shouts out Red Eye. Not, not expecting to have a little mini character arc for the assassin. I like that. 
some self some self confidence self reassuring Kaya, no, that's Green Hair's girl, the name. Okay, I gotta get her down. Alright, free time, finally. Some relaxation. Ah, uh, picture, you probably are pretty nasty yourself. Okay, peepers, it's rare in a show to see the women peeping. I know, right? <laughs> he said it's no one's job. Ah, naked Koro. Ugh, ugh, don't give me an imagination like that. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, he's hot. Turns pink slash red, you know. Oh, jellied broth? What the fuck? That is the big topic of every class, you know. <laughs> I would not be surprised if Nagisa wasn't interested in women. Not that he's uh, necessarily gay, just he just doesn't seem to be interested in any sort of relationships right now. He's more interested in self-improvement, you know? Same with Karma. I don't think Karma's interested in women. Oh. Okuda! That's a shock? <laughs> Never mind. You guys are like Dracula and a witch. Vampire, like what? <laughs> <laughs> Coral, so <laughs> as if they didn't see him at all. <laughs> Loves gossip. I could see him loving gossip. Hell yeah. They're actually made for each other. Hey, Miss Arena. I got mochi and stuff. I would assume like 24. So 20, okay. Black Widow. <laughs> she really does. We're having the real girl talk. Koro just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, tell us about that girl that we saw in episode one or two. Come on. Yeah, of course. Of course. You got the boys and the girls after him. Caught in a pincer attack. Did he used to be a human? Uh-huh. For a two-episode, two-part little school trip, that was mad fun. Tomorrow we go back to our mad fun lives at school. At least for me, the observer, you know. Like they said, way to close the curtain on that. That was well done. All right, post post credit scene. Karasuma is uh, updating his higher ups. All right, Naruto and Hinata. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it looks like based on their outlines. Both with abilities made superhuman with science. So we're having two new students, one of them now, one of them later, both superhuman, both experiments, both interesting. Okay. Interesting. Talk about a fun pair of episodes from getting some more info on Kanzaki. 
kind of like meeting her, introducing her, and having her among the squad, and then having just more banter, fun time uh, on this trip when it comes to the girl talk, the boy talk, uh, Koro's involvement in those conversations, how he loves gossip and all that, and his little little bit of information we're getting about how he possibly was, you know, possibly human. I'm, I'm very curious about that. Very thankful he was able to help with the kidnapping situation. I loved how the sniper, the red eye whole story and little character arc was hilarious. How he was helping out with the different groups and then came to some self realizations trying to kill the unkillable that maybe this job isn't for him. Let's go experience life and see what color we see in the scope tomorrow. I like that. I really enjoyed that. He was funny and I like his name, red eye. How he would always see the blood of people in a scope. That's kind of a fire nickname, I won't lie. Miss Arena, being typical Arena. Uh, but I love the kids. Love the class. Love the chemistry, the banter. Like I said, great vibes. Great teamwork so far. Uh, very wholesome. Cannot wait for some more. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for early access and full length. Up to four episodes ahead or one week. I'm going to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.